So I also would like, I would like to draw your attention to today's press briefing in Geneva of the Independent Commission of Inquiry on Ukraine in the context of uh, the armed aggression of the Russian Federation. The Commission is carrying out important work in accordance with its mandate. The advanced, unedited version of the report is available on the website of the High, of the High Commissioner for Human Rights. The findings of the Commission are truly horrifying. Let me quote the Commission's conclusions. The evidence gathered has reinforced the Commission's uh, previous findings that Russian authorities use torture in a widespread and systematic way. These issues directly relate to the Security Council meeting, which will begin in a few minutes. As it concerns egregious war crimes occurring daily against Ukrainians in the temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine, and let me quote the latest report. Recently analyzed information is suggestive of the hierarchically, hierarchical nature of the services involved in the commission of torture. The knowledge of superiors and prevailing sentiment of impunity. Let me give you another quote. Victims' accounts disclose relentless, brutal treatment, inflicting severe pain and suffering for almost the entire duration of their detention, with blatant disregard for human dignity, leading to long-lasting physical mental trauma. The Russian side continues to bury its head in the sand, as noted in the Commission's report, and I quote, it regrets that its efforts to engage with the Russian Federation remain unsuccessful. The Commission has addressed 23 written requests for meetings, access, and information without receiving any answer from the Russian side. Therefore, we are not going to take lectures from, uh, from Russian Federation who have had ample opportunities to provide the Commission with access and information. And we call on Russia to start implementing the decisions of the UN main bodies, including the General Assembly and the Human Rights Council and the ICJ, to comply with international humanitarian law, which includes immediately cease this aggression and all acts of violence committed against civilians and prisoners of war in violation of applicable international human rights and international humanitarian law, and the use of torture and the use of torture and other forms of ill treatment against both civilians and prisoners of war. I thank you. Ambassador Nadia Sitima from Al Jazeera English. What is your message to civilians who participate in elections in occupied, occupied Ukrainian territories, particularly those who feel pressure to participate? The participation in uh, the illegal attempts uh, to organize so-called presidential elections to a foreign country in the territory of Ukraine is illegal and uh, whoever facilitate this uh, organization of the elections uh, is uh, liable under Ukrainian criminal law. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.